So we're going to take the teletype apart and uh, make it all new, hopefully. So it looks like we have improved the situation greatly. This is so much more tidy now. Yeah, here Simple green is always a good one. Most used tool today, <laughs> a toothbrush. And this used to be like this. That's the key punch, right? The key punch, the tape punch. And then you want to make sure you don't go too fast or too slow. Yeah, the, key, the keys are sure green, so... So it has all been cosmetic so far. Here I'm hitting my first functional repair. So encoder seems to work fine now. So working on the punch now, and it was pretty rusted, but uh, it polished away pretty good. I use the thing whatever, cast iron cleaner. And I think it's okay, it will do fine. I'm not quite sure how this thing works. It's uh, actuated by a magnet somewhere down here and I don't seem to be moving the punch very much. Okay, I have to study it. Okay, I found my way into it by removing the line counter and I can't make the thing advance a bit, nor the punch move very much. It appears stuck. Interesting, this is a very fine detailed mechanism. And uh, I think it's just stuck. It can move, but it takes a lot of force. So I think I have to get it unstuck first. I think she just hasn't moved in a while and just wiggle this thing around for and now it's getting a little looser. No oil yet. Let's try it. to see if that helps. Then I might have to dismount that thing entirely. It doesn't come loose. It's hard to see, but the punches appear stuck too. They go up a little bit, but they don't come all the way down. It's not focusing very well. There we go. And okay. I made one thing work. This is now free. I'm free again. Okay, so I think we can move. I think she's working now if I press on the magnet thing. Punches are moving. This is moving the ratchet. Now it's going in the right direction. So I think if I remount the punch block, we might be ready to punch. It has little guide pins so it will fit perfectly back together, hopefully. I have to tippy tap tap this one in and then the punches will be just flush with the plate and just go a little bit up. I'm not there quite yet. Yeah, there you go, a little bit of tippy tap tapping. Moving. Let's see. How do you feed the thing? Yeah, yeah. Yo. Alright. Can I make holes? Oh, it's trying. Almost. 
Oh, yes, holes. Here we go. Might not have enough force. So one punch is working, the others are not quite there. Progress. So there is a little extra difficulty involved with testing the keyboard and, and punch. Mine is now clean and ready to be tested. This is Carl's. Uh, but it shows a problem. So the keyboard is modular. The keyboard unit just slides out of the base and you, know, you can shift it out. Uh, Carl's is back in place. And the problem is, is that it does not connect to the motor directly. It needs the printer in between, which has a shaft that will connect the two. Uh, and of course, uh, both of our printers don't work. Uh, they are all stuck. So we cannot hook up the motor easily uh, to the keyboard for testing it. So I have to come up with an alternative method. volts it will punch ready for the great high voltage experiment uh, I took my modern supply here so it can do actually a hundred volts and I think 600 milliamps is what the magnet takes <laughs> we think it's uh, what is that? Well, it's yes, yeah, 100 watts. Hmm, yeah, hmm, no, not a little bit less. 500 and then 60 or something like that. But. We can start with less current. You want to do 500? <laughs> they, they really trust me. You got yours? And we figured out where the fire extinguisher is. Let me see if get this out of the way. Okay. It's on in constant voltage. So it's at it's 120 volts. 120 volts. Woo! It fired something. But it didn't. It's not advancing. It's not advancing. Okay, so let me turn it off. And advance it manually. So, did you put holes in the paper? We don't know because it didn't advance. Because it's not pulling it through. Oh, yeah, it tried. It got stuck. It sure did something. Let's try it without paper. See if we can see something moving. Okay. Power! 30 volts, okay. Let's see if it advances. Yeah, it does advance. The bush blank, 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 which I nothing. So what I have to do is unclog the thing and realign the uh, mm -hmm. realign the punch travel. So the the punch adjustment is slightly delicate. Uh, here are the uh, interposers that go under the plunges, which you see right there at the back, and they are pretty tight tolerances on this. So I had to get my set of gauges going and make sure this was the right uh, adjustment it was actually way too wide and it's inconveniently located underneath here is one screw over here there's an, another screw over there this is how low it goes and this is how high it goes and it's full of little adjustments all over the place uh, to get it right there's a, a anti-shatter mechanism on the side has to be finely adjusted too we are trying to figure out how to adjust the punch. 
and I am getting close. I am almost punching through. We can see this. The left one always punches better. Uh oh, now it's stuck. So that's where I have the problem. And now. So I think the problem is they're jamming in that upper block. Yeah, so I, I'm getting almost good. So I would loosen the upper block. We finally managed to punch everything. What is the, the thing you see? You see letters? Mm -hmm. The letters button all the way over there. That does all the holes. And so we got that, but we still have a problem where the tape doesn't advance. Letters. Well, that's because what you're supposed to do is start with blanks, with yeah, blanks which should just punch the center hole. Okay. Well, it should, should be feeding like it's there. And then that'll catch into the little pin okay. somewhere. Okay, I think you got it. It's, it's still... Yeah! See, uh, no, no, that's not enough. It's still too rough. It, it, it couldn't do it. Oh, it got stuck again. It's the, the darn left punch. And then if I undo this one, it will lose. There you go. Why don't you try loosening the other end because it might be torqued. In it's, it's this one it doesn't like, so you want to lose. Yeah, I'm just it. saying if, if, if that end is torqued and you're releasing the torque on this, every time you tighten it back up, it's back to... Okay, let me tight, tighten them not as much as I did. Okay, redo your planks. Oh, is this a special one? Yes. Oh, it's is. blank as in, as in blank. I saw it was blank. So space and blank. No, you always do leader first, which is blanks. And blank is a key with nothing on it. Yes. All right, man. Cal, I learned something. I think we have it. Go go for it. Uh, so first, is this a leader? Yeah. And then, um, let's see, what are we doing? It's, it's keyboard. Oh, oh. It, it throws me off because of the missing key. Oh, ju ju just blame my teletype. Alright, so what, what, did, what did you do? Well, I was trying to do the quick round and then I stopped because it okay. was really off. Oh, this is cool! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright! So we have our first vintage bits. Go for it, Carl. So I'll do a blank, that's all spaces. Okay. And letters, that's all marks. Okay. And then we'll do R and Y. And then Y is going to be the alternate pattern of ones and zeros. This is idle, this is the start bits. Yes. And, and this is one, two, three, four, five. five. And then bits. stop bits. Okay, and then do the, the other alternates. Okay, let me do R now. Start. Right. Zero, one, zero, one. One, two, three, four, five, and then the stop bits. Yep. So now we up the ante and we are going to punch and see if I can capture both. Eh, it's going to be hard. We are going to try to punch and see the bits at the same time. We're going to do a pattern of each bit in session. So E, line feed. Space, carriage return, T. Okay. Arrow of holes. Do, do a lot of R's and a lot of Y's. This is what? More, more, more. What is this one? R. R. Then do Y's. More, 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 the first bit is 22.2 millisecond, and it should be 22. I can adjust it with the voltage, I can make it exact, so... Well, that's a good test setup, actually. Okay, we are going to write our favorite phrase in vintage bits. It goes... Uh, letters... Sub... Five... Two... Here, use 
mark. And there is no apostrophe. There is figures, letters, curious marks, Chanel. I think I got it. All right. This is subscribe to Curious Mark's channel in Vintage Bits. Wow, while well, we're from the pile of rust, it was to this. And look guys, we have Vintage Bits all over the place. They are just going everywhere. They are all over the place. Actually, they were all in the machine, right? I fought them like <laughs> forever. But they are meant to be part of your, of your life. This is not advancing. All uh, right. Okay. Next problem. We can't. We can't celebrate for a second. So, the my uh, character counter. Try it. Okay. All right. Next problem. Let me.